Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time, we're going to take up about accomplishing the weekly home learning plan. Last July 21, 2020, a DepEd Memorandum was issued from our beloved DepEd Undersecretary for Curriculum and Instruction, Gustado M. San Antonio, regarding the suggested strategies in implementing distance learning delivery modalities or DLDM for school year 2020-2021. In this memorandum, the parts of the weekly home learning plan is explained. Here is the sample template of the weekly home learning plan in the said memorandum. On the centermost part, the grade level is indicated, the week and quarter number, and the specific date. On the first column of the weekly home learning plan is the day and time. You may refer it to your class program or class schedule. Example, if you are assigned to teach on Monday at 9.30 to 11.30, then you will fill out this part indicating your schedule for that section. In the second column is the learning area. If, if, if in case you are assigned to teach mathematics, then the learning area that you are going to fill out in this column is mathematics. Third column of the WHLP is the learning competency. This can be copied from our MELP or Most Essential Learning Competencies provided to us by the Department of Education. This can be also seen from our SLM or Self-Learning Module. Here is the example provided in the Memorandum for Grade 7 Mathematics under Learning Competency. And the fourth column of the WHLP is the learning pass. This is the most important part of the WHLP. In this column are the different activities that we will provide to our learners based on what we have provided in the SLM for the self-learning module. Here is the example under learning pass in the said memorandum. The last column is the mode of delivery. This is how the learners or parents submit their answers or output to the activities indicated in the self-learning module and other learning materials you have provided to them. We will take into consideration the preference of the learner or parent if they can submit it through FB Messenger or Instagram, email, Google Classroom, or personal or physical submission for handling of the output to the teachers or in the school or to the designated drop box assigned in the place. Here is the sample under mode of delivery in the DepEd Memorandum. Appendix E of the Memorandum shows the sample of the weekly home learning plan. Again, on the centermost part, the grade level is indicated, the week and quarter number, and the specific week date. And take note that the parts of the WHLP is given the day and time, the learning area, learning competency, learning tasks, and mode of delivery. This is the weekly home learning plan to be prepared and consolidated by the advisor. If you observe, it does not start directly with the learning activities, but they set first a preparatory schedule for the learners. This is for them to be aware of their personal daily activities before their study. For example here, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, it's the time for waking up, eating breakfast, and other activities of the learners. And for 9 o'clock to 9.30, the time for exercising, meditating, and bonding with the family. Then, the learning activity in the morning session at 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. And in the sample, the first learning area given in the morning session is mathematics. If you are an advisor, you will base this part on the class program given to you. Their lunch break is at 11.30 to 1 o'clock p.m. And for afternoon session, it will start at 1 p.m. and end at 3 p.m. with Filipino as the learning area. This is for the Monday schedule as being provided in the memorandum. Now, here is the complete weekly home learning plan 
provided in the memorandum. So on Monday, mathematics morning session. Lunch break and then Filipino in the afternoon. Tuesday, science morning session. Lunch break and then 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock EST afternoon session. Wednesday, English. Then lunch break again and 1 to 3 PLT afternoon session. Thursday morning, Araling Panlipunan. Then on the afternoon, MAPE, music, arts, physical education, and health. And on Fridays, intended for self assessment class, portfolio preparation, or other learning area class. Here is my sample of my WHLP as a subject area teacher in grade 10. And I am just making my own template for the WHLP. But still, the parts of the WHLP is provided like the day and time, learning area, learning competency, learning task, and mode of delivery. So how did I accomplish this WHLP? First, fill out all the information needed on the topmost part of the template. Always double check, especially the grade level, the quarter and the week number, and the specific weekday. I just included this lesson or topic in my sample template. Next, the first column, the day and time. Again, I just copied it from my class schedule. So, I have five classes on the different day and time. Next column is the learning area. Since I am teaching mathematics, so I am going to write mathematics. Next is the learning competency. I just copied it from the MELC or you can also copy this from your SLM example. On our SLM, the competency is provided here. So I just copied it and paste it on my WHLP template. Okay, fourth column is the learning task. This is the most important part of the WHLP. Your instruction here must be clear and detailed. Again, my reference in accomplishing the column under learning task is the self-learning module or the module to be provided to the student. So example in my WHLP number one, refer to page two of the module and answer the pretest with five items. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Read the directions carefully. I use this only simple wording so that our students have no more questions in performing the task. And to really guide them where is the location of the pretest, I place a picture of it in the learning plan so that they can easily locate. I here is the pretest. Okay, it is one, two, three, four, five items. Okay. I also number the different learning tasks so that I can easily determine which task or which part of the module they failed to perform or they did not achieve better results. Last part of the WHIP is the mode of delivery. Okay, I have written here for online. You can write, submit the scanned copy of your answer sheet using our FB Messenger class or group. Or for offline, submit your answer sheet through your parents, guardians, and school. So, after accomplishing the weekly home learning plan, that is now the time you are going to submit that to the in charge for inspection and evaluation of your WHLP. And after that, will be provided to the advisors. That's it. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Thank <laughs> you.